All right, I think we may have found our location. I came back to this um, docking station and ran around, and we just got this. Uh, Heinrich is back, so it says, not at all, First Officer Warren saying, I'm not in the habit of leaving the trail, but I thank you for your concern. I'm pleased to see you again. I'm glad to hear that my presence aboard your ship did not leave you with any unpleasant memories. I hope your disposition won't change once I have explained the reason for my visit. I was able to contact my mentor and report the tragic events that transpired on White Cat Minoris. I also received some information from my agents regarding the movements and actions of enemies of humanity, including the Xenos that we're assuming were involved in the lift of the star, I mean the theft of the star. According to the findings, the threat now hangs over the worlds. This time yours, Lord Captain. He clears his throat. By the order of the Lord Inquisitor, whose duty is to stand sentinel over the Cor uh, Coronas Expanse, the road trader of House Von Valicious is to take on board the agent of the Most Holy Inquisition and provide escort and support in deeds great and small that serve to safeguard the territories of the Imperium against its enemies. This decree is effective immediately upon announcement and remains in effect until decided otherwise by Excellency Cal Kazar. All I got from it is that riding ourselves of the, ridding ourselves of this snitch won't be easy. Would you mind translating the torrent of verbiage you just unleashed upon me? The Lord Inquisitor has deemed that my presence aboard your ship and in your retinue, ret, retinue would be significantly more beneficial to the fight against heresy and evil than my return to my mentor's side. Our parting before our arrival on footfall was premature. What exactly caused this need to rejoin my crew? The cause is the activity of humanity's enemies, including the cult of the final dawn. In my absence, the situation in Corona's expanse has changed. I have received an exhaustive report from my agents. This heresy has taken root in the region where the Von Valicious world lie. You probably already know about the fate of the industrial world of Kaiva Gamma. If not, then I'll share that details I know, but not here. Better to talk on board where we'll be overheard. Okay. Alright, I welcome you, brother. An answer befitting of a righteous servant of the Emperor. If duty has brought you aboard the rogue trader ship once more, then such is the Emperor's will. Welcome back, interrogator. Thank you, sister. It's an honor to be traveling with one of the blessed Adeptus Soritas. Master Vaughn Kalo, since you are with us once more, I do hope you will find the time to finish our conversation about the literary works of Pron Haller the Blessed. I will make every effort, lady, or recent. Man, he's trying to take my girl, bro. I must also deliver this to you. The Lord Inquisitor specified that the contents of this envelope are for your eyes only. I would ask you to read it as soon as you have the time. And that is everything from the time being. Are you headed to the ship or do you still have business on Fort Fall? Wherever the case, I can either wait for you on board or accompany you as part of your retina. Bro. I don't think I need her. But we'll get our homie back. Now, see, now we can get on the bridge. Know your duty. We're getting on the bridge to get some of these missions out the way. Captain, the inspection of the ship's system is complete. 
The tech priests are reporting the machine spirits are calm and satisfied. Everything is ready for onward travel, except there is an issue you must be made aware of. Cassia makes a quick, nervous gesture. I've been studying the records left by the vessel's previous navigator. I wanted to double check the routes to Dragonus and discover that it does not match the one recorded in the atlas. It is more than a minor warp fluctuation. The route has been wiped out and can no longer be used for traveling. To make matters worse, I started checking the paths from the atlas one after the other and saw the same thing everywhere. The warp is ro uh, rolling with an ominous storm bursting in vivid and screen colors. It will not hinder our movement, but all previously knowledge is utterly useless. Warp storms are our enemies, just like her heretics and de demons. It's a shame that they can't be dispersed with a flamer or a bolter. Now we can be certain that the problems with astropathic communication in the Coronas Expanse are not coincidence. There is a warp disturbance in your way, Lord Captain. It is swallowing messages and disrupting familiar routes. This means you need to locate the key worlds of Devon Palacia's protector as soon as possible. I'm talking about Janus, Dragonus, and Kaiba Gamma. Charting new routes so that they can be reached and restoring control will be the necessary next step. Alright. What do I need to... I says, what's your opinion? Which world should we deal with first? Very well. Our course is cleared. Do my officers have any other issues that require immediate attention? That is all, Lord Captain. The vessel and the crew await your instructions and are ready to depart for fall media, should you so desire. Uh, we gotta go talk to these people first. Fofall is expecting severe shortage of provisions. If the situation is not remedied soon, a dramatic fall in the station's population is likely. Restore the operations. Deal with the disrupted shipments. All right. Meet her on the ship. Talk to him on the ship. Bridge. All right, so let's do this first. Let's talk to old girl. So I'm waiting for you to tell me about your past and explain the strange words that cultists on football. Yes, I'm ready. I would ask only one thing of you, rogue trader. If I may, I would like to see the chamber of the sacred warrant and kneel before the relic touched by the emperor himself. A difficult conversation lies ahead of us. And I wish to pray by the relic before I lay my soul bare. All right, let's go. She must have got something serious to tell me if she got to go pray first. She drops to her knees, her hands making a sign of a cue. Her eyes are locked on the sweeping signature of the warrant, a seemingly mundane thing, merely a flourish on a piece of paper, unless one knows whose hand left that mark and whose blood is on that paper. If thou sent the flaw in me, smite me. If thou knowest the fall in mine, burn me with flames of fury and righteousness. But if thou see a light, grace me. If thou heart this, if thou hearest this plea, bless me with wrath of fury and righteousness oh, she wouldn't able to kill something for i breathe by the will of thine for i live by the law of thine i carry thy word O emperor i bring solace to servants of thine and ruin to foes of thine a fate of terror and righteousness rogue trader we need to talk or rather i need to tell you something the truth the truth about how i ended up on the theodore von valencia's ship and about the cultists we encountered on footfall i'm listening Please understand, I couldn't trust you before. I'll, I'll tell you my story and you'll see why. I'll start at the beginning. It's easier to piece everything together that way. Upon arriving, uh, the expansion on football, I found no purpose here, only torment. I was needed. The, the reliquary 
I had been assigned to safeguard it was already well protected by the reverend and no one uh, was even trying to defile it for all its lawlessness footfall respects the worship of the emperor that was when the lady Theodora ahead of your dynasty appeared she became an agent of divine will in a way it was from her that I learned about a planet recently discovered by our scouts Salas Prime for a rogue trader the planet was a little interest a feral world away from the convenient warp routes but for me learning about its existence was a revelation I never even heard of such a planet does it belong to the Von Valencia's dynasty let's say please continue the description was familiar to me it seemed very similar to a world from an ancient legend the legend of Saint Argenta and her ship Argenta the living saint she is my patroness the order named me after her she died millennia ago when her when heretics caused her ship to fall from the skies but even those blasphemers could not touch her ashes or her holy relic the one star for the fallen ship which now served as the resting place for the saints remains would only allow the truly righteous to enter all others would meet their death imagine what i felt when when that uh this flash of insight came upon me the world where saint argenta's ship fell was merely a vague legend no one knew its actual whereabouts and suddenly i myself named after the saint come across this information i realized at that moment that it was important that i must journey to the planet and find the ship and so i asked reverend harmonious to let me go for a time on a personal pilgrimage i boarded theodore's ship and demanded passage to the newly discovered planet why don't you keep your uh supposition supposition from reverend harmonious surely he could have helped you with the search for the ship i imagine theodora was thrilled you mentioned something called the one star what is it let's see what happened next defeat the ship's augers failed to detect anything of note during orbital scanning i was expecting this though according to the legend the ship can conceal itself from the naked eye and only a pilgrim guided by a pure heart can find it what I didn't expect was an ambush waiting for us on the planet. I landed there with a small unit provided by Theodora. I know St. Argenta's heliograph by heart. I know all the legends about her. I followed their obscure kilos, the descriptions of mountains and rivers from millennia old tales. I was certain that I found the way to the ship, and that's when we were attacked. The words we heard in the heretic shrine on footfall, something about ways, doors, please, addressed to some lord, the edge of daybreak. They were the same words as those spoken by the cultists who attacked us. My whole unit perished. All those honest, brave people I had led to search for the relic, it was only by a miracle that I didn't perish along with them. I didn't connect uh, these events at first. The cultists on Footfall, the cultists on Silas Prime, the cultists attacking the ship. Uh, what if these are all links in the same chain? What if they've long since infiltrated the ranks of the Von Valencia servants? What if... I led those heretics to the sacred planet with my search. Sadly, the one thing who might have answered all of this, he escaped. No need to blame yourself. If heretics really had wormed their way into the Von Valencia's ranks by then, they would have found the planet even without your going there. I doubt it. No one except me was particularly interested in the planet. Conrad, on the other hand, he sympathized with me when I first came aboard. He helped arranged an audience with Theodora and supported me in my effort to visit the planet. I never told him plainly why I wanted to go there, but I imagine the vulture must have figured out that it was something important, something related to the holy faith of the Imperium, and what could delight a heretic more than defiling a relic. A relic. So you managed to escape, and that's why you didn't trust me before? So how did you manage to escape? Theodora's people received a distress call uh, came to my rescue and brought me aboard the ship. I barely remember what happened when they arrived I was already severely wounded fighting back with whatever remained of my strength I think I shouted that we had to go after them, but they didn't listen They took me to the shuttle and pulled me out after that. It's all blackness when I came to we were already in the middle of a warp jump Theodora had urgent matters to take care of and she decided that she could clear out the planet at a later time And that's why you didn't trust me before Yes I saw with the, my own eyes how a member of your family showed his true colors as a servant of the arch enemy. I had already suffered a humiliating defeat at the hands of the cultists and was afraid of another betrayal. I couldn't be forthright with you, and so I studied you, looking for seeds of corruption. 
or the light of righteousness. So just to clarify, you were uh, wounded, so you never found St. Argenta's ship, is that right? I say, and what did you find? A man who stood shoulder to shoulder with me and helped eradicate the cultists on football. Although my opinion of you started to change even before then, back when you agreed to talk to the orphans at my request, a leader who's willing to honor those who laid down their lives for them and take care of their children is a leader who inspires trust in the way you acted in that moment. Do you remember there was a young man whose grief and confusion had driven him into driven him insolence? You didn't turn a blind eye to his misdeed, but you chose the right words to show him the path to redemption. It was harsh but necessary like the Emperor's truth, like bitter medicine that helps the sick. I learned much about you in that moment, Rogue Trader, and I want to believe that I wasn't mistaken in my judgment. Alright. Yes, I rushed to Theodore the moment I could walk again, and I insisted on going back to Silas Prime to defend the relic from the heretics, but I was told that the warp had destroyed the old route to the planet, and that plotting a new one would take a great deal of time and effort, as if there could be anything more important than protecting the faith and hunting down the servants of the arch enemy. In any event, the route was lost, and all knowledge of it died in the attack on the ship along with the old navigator. But now we have a new lead, the data that we collected in the cultist shrine of football. I don't care what the reprobate uh, we ex executed said. There must be a way to track them down. Tell me, rogue trader. Will you help me in this undertaking? Will you help me find this great relic and return it to the people of the Imperium? Yes, I will. If the accursed final dawn is involved again, it's my duty to help you. That cult must be reduced to the ashes throughout the entire Coronas. We'll say that. She's gonna like that. So be it, Rogue Trader. As I stand here before the warrant, the embodiment of the Emperor's will marked by his own hand, I vow that I will not relent until the holy relic has been returned and the heretics punished, and may the light be with us both on this path. Okay. She loves me, man. Alright, let's check something else out. Let's go. Restore the operations. Hold on. The cold trader who was, we gotta find her. The lower captain can Captain's Bridge. Secrets of the Cold. Talk to Heinrichs about the Cold Final Dawn. Where's he at? Oh perfect. You're right here, bro. You wanted to discuss the nature of your mission. I wanted to discuss the cult at the final dawn. What can you tell me about it? The cult's ordinary members are humans who have been corrupted by the arch enemy, traitors to the Imperium, and accomplices of chaos. Participation in the cult's rituals always entails brainwashing, literally and figuratively. The longer cult members spend among other cultists, the less critically they think, and the more closely they resemble obedient livestock, stripped of their fear and instinct for self-preservation. The worst of them go to their deaths without an inkling of doubt, ready to take hundreds and thousands of souls with them. Okay. As for those at the top of the cult's hierarchy, we have not yet managed to get a lead on all of the cult's leaders. I imagine that some of them are hiding in the depths of the Coronas Expanse. But those who are orchestrating the fanatics on nearby worlds are hiding very well indeed. Or receiving protection from above. Remind me, what is your mission regarding the cult? I need to confirm the reports from my agents. According to them, one of the cult's leaders is in the Kiava Gamma segment, an industrial world within the dominion of the Fon Falancius dynasty. I hope you won't impede my investigation. What do you mean, protection from above? <laughs> Governors, commanders, rogue traders. 
History is full of those who neglect their duty to the golden throne and seek allies in the wrong places. Uh, we may have done that. You seem to have been investigating this cult for some time. We discovered the first traces of it as soon as we arrived in the Coronis Expanse. Since then, the more we learn, the better we see just how far the roots of this blight extend. Destroying individual cells is pointless. We must cut this beast off at its head. Let's talk about something else. As you wish. You want to discuss the nature of your mission? I want you to leave now. You wanted to discuss. Yes, but not here. I wouldn't want our conversation to be gossip fodder on the bridge and in the officer's mess. Put your sword away. I welcome the chance to assist the Inquisition in its inquiries. Your enthusiasm is commendable. To business, then, the cult of the final dawn, the madman preached their heretical doctrine among the Denzians of Corona's expanse and instigate crimes against the throne of humanity. One such crime took place in your protectorate. The Lord Inquisitor considered it necessary to have one of his acolytes accompany the road trader to voyage into the corrupted region. I also need to meet with one of my observers on the capital world of your domain. Here we go. Why would the Xenos agents investigate the Chaos Cult? You are well versed in how the Inquisition is organized, Deacon. Yes, initially our arrival in the Corona Suspense was dictated by the need to fight Xenos, but there is more. The cult is tangentially related to my, uh, my main specialization. Perhaps I will be able to reveal the truth someday, but right now I ask you to display humility and patience. All right. The Lord Inquisitor mentioned in his letter that he is willing to show lenience toward my actions that would otherwise be interpreted as radical. What's he talking about? That is correct. I should show greater tolerance for the mistake of a newly appointed road trader. To be frank, I am surprised. It is not the type to indulge the weakness of soul and mind, even as someone who only recently accepted the burden of a lofty title. I don't know what I did, though. A chaos cult in my protractorate. Are you laying an accusation against my dynasty? Chaos treads softly. The main danger of secret cults and sects is that they are like seeds. They can remain in the ground for decades, safe from all scrutiny, until an opportunity to sprout, grow, and bear monstrous fruit presents itself. The emergence of a cult on one of the rogue trader's planets does not mean the dynasty head himself is chaos wor worshipper. Having said that, it should be noted that Theodora von Valencius was famous for her loose interpretation of the freedoms granted by the warrant. A bloodline can be strained by ancestral transgressions. If it is indeed so, it is in, it is in your best interest to do whatever necessary to redeem yourself, and then perhaps you will get a chance to salvage your dynasty's reputation. It says you have spies. The person I mentioned is not a spy, but a secretary in the administrative department of dragons. The planet's governor and Theodora were fully aware of his status. His duty is to fulfill the sacred oath of the Golden Throne and eliminate threats in the Imperium, which the Coronas Expanse has in abundance. His name is Achilles Scandaler. Scand Scalander? Scalander. As soon as we contact Dragonus, I will introduce you to the new head of the dynasty. I am sure you will appreciate the presence of such an advisor among your subjects, and I suggest you will heed his words, at least occasionally. I want to know more about this cult. Their chaos, war chaos worshippers, most often agents of throne, run into lone renegades stirring up rabble, insane prophets and hysterical visionaries preaching to the end of days. A passing comment, mutant rebellion, an onslaught of monsters. Each time they come up with a new reason why people should prostrate, prostrate themselves and quiver in fear. Much effort and blood of those loyal to the golden throne were spent before established the connection between those heretics. However, the cult of the final dawn is something greater 
than a gaggle of misguided seers or fortune tellers. They clearly spread their agents all over the Cronus Expanse, disseminating heresy among honest people on the Imperial worlds. There is a certain strategy to their actions that changes whenever we get too close. And finally, they have enough military power to have had the two ships that we had sent after them later discovered as wreckage. The growing difficulty in making warp jumps is detrimental to us, but is unlikely to inconvenience those who engage in vile sorcery day in and day out. After the events on Riket Minoris, I suspected the cult might have built its nest inside Winterscale's domain, but the later reports indicate that it is your protractor that is harboring heretics. Being in your entourage improves my chances of getting closer to their secrets. I've already agreed to give you a place aboard my ship. What else? Should deliver me to the systems that contains the industrial world. I will then accompany you to the servers and determine what cult is planning and how it intends to use the resources that have fallen into their clutches, which may very well include the blessed engines of the Adeptus Mechanist and even the followers of the Omnisaya themselves. All right, I'll be frank. The answer to this question is unlikely to please either of us. The machinations of chaos usually go beyond solely inflicting countless deaths and destruction. Having their plans come to fruition would lead to far more terrible consequences. One of the systems in Corona's expanse is already lost. May the Emperor protect us from watching this tragedy play out again. All right. We met a chaos space marine. Do we risk running to his brothers? All right, why did your suspicion fall on this area? There's jointed pieces of data that finally merged into a single picture. Additionally, not long ago, a vessel from the world arrived on footfall. The reports from, uh, this is the reports from the crew were confused and alarming, making me fear a planet-wide rebellion. That is enough discussion. Let's see. We met a chaos. You know, let's see if we got any more. I have no doubt it will appear. I mean, it will happen sooner or later. Chaos Marines siding with the cult is very bad. Most likely they kept away until recently pulling their puppet strings from a respectable distance. These traders seldom show up alone. The best we can count on is having to deal with just a squad. Hopefully we don't get a squad. The squad might be tough. Since I won't let anyone throw their weight around on my worlds, be they servants of chaos, xenos, or heretics. A commendable aspiration for a person who holds the fates of billions of people and dozens of imperial worlds in his hands, which is why you need to be very ever more vigilant when looking for seeds of corruption on your planets, lest they sprout someday and spell doom for whatever it is tangled up in their roots. All right, that's enough discussion. This is the Dukari, one of the branches of Adari, an ancient and vicious Xenos race. Those creatures are a living terror to ordinary people who fall prey to their raids. For the simple reason that the victims are not killed outright, but instead they become playthings, just as you and I need to air, need air to survive. The Takari require psychic energy, born from torment and pain, which they extract from their captives with uncanny expertise. Their ships, which are difficult to mistake for any other, arrive suddenly and undetected. Their stealth technologies greatly surpass the capabilities of standard Imperium Augur arrays. The objective of their raids is never to capture a world or a ship, though they only interested in fresh victims. After filling their holes with living captives, they disappear into the webway. A different dimension which conceals their greatest stronghold, Kamar Row, the dark city of Drakari, from which none can hope to escape. Kamora? I do not know why the Drakari stole Rykod's son and brought about the fulfillment of the cult's prophecies. Perhaps the Xenos themselves have played into the arch enemy's designs, or perhaps Aurora's div divinations. In fact, describe the Dakari's actions. There is only one thing I can say with absolute certainty. There is no alliance between the cult of the Final Dawn and the Xenos. It is simply impossible. All right, I'm going about my business. Damn, bro. Let me put it this way. You may think whatever you want of me, but my goal is not to hinder you. I am here to help you in the fight against foes you may not even be aware of. You have my word that I will provide every assistance 
and I'm rooting the heresy and that has sprouted on the von Valacious worlds uh, while their masters was away and that I will be that I will try to be more patient with the less grievous flaws the bearers of warrant are sometimes known to have thank you for sparing the time all right just one second See what we got now. So I gotta talk to this chick. Let's see. We gotta bring him there. Authorize the data bank decryption on the personal cogitator where is this personal cogitator at what did it say to do authorize a data bank decryption Pascal is sure that it can be used to decrypt the discovered database. Okay, I don't think that's what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> that's the ancestry records. talk to Pascal and see what he says he'll let me know where I gotta go do I have to talk to somebody else oh there she is straight ahead hopefully hers isn't as long-winded as my man. He was going crazy. Allow me to thank you again for helping me with the cargo, Sherry. I am sure the Ashmags who squirreled away my goods won't give up so easily, and I'll hear more about their scheming yet. Let's strike a deal, Sherry. I will watch your back if you do me a favor and watch mine. <laughs> well, enough jokes. Is there something you wanted? Was there some business you wish to discuss? Sherib, I did manage to spark your interest. Allow me to invite you to a more private place. My words are meant for your ears alone. Okay. She has crazy will kill her. Shireen, the exalted one himself brought us together. The was the exalted one brought us together today you cross 
threshold he led us to the cargo and gave his blessings for his return do you know what people on my world say when the such things happen what's gained is to be shared with your neighbor blood secret oh is that good i'm a sharing with what i've gained with you please accept these humble gifts in honor of our wildly successful though suddenly stricken friendship let's see we are here to exchange pleasantries what is it you wanted to discuss you have some nerve trying to peddle this filth to a true servant of the emperor what is this nah we can't take this I gotta let her know. This is yet more Xeno heresy. You have some nerve trying to peddle this filth to a true servant of the Emperor. You are free to do whatever you like with my gifts. If you so desire, you can have them ejected through an airlock or given away. So the matter I wanted to discuss is related to my business. You know <clears throat> that I sell Xeno, Xeno artifacts to interested Imperial subjects and Imperial trinkets to Xenos. Business is going well. My network runs even without my participation. But when it comes to expansion, well, that is where it, I hit a wall. It says rivals envious of my success. Uh, Falco, especially, I am certain the theft of the cargo was his doing, but I can never predict what that ash mag will do next and while the imperium's authority may be fragmented in the expanse it could crack down on people of my profession at any moment get to the point i do not have time to spend all day chatting with you go on if the rogue trader put in a good word for me with the servants of the adeptus administratum i could become an official trade representative of the Imperium, just imagine it. A little scrap of paper will offer me and my agents protection against Ash Mag schemes far better than any refractor field. And even the Inquisition will have to think twice before they mess with me because I'll be a representative of the law in my own right. And the best part of all of this will cost you precisely nothing. All you have to do is stop by the Administrative Palace and obtain a certificate a certificate from the master of seals my informants tell me that the uh, palace is located on dragons your capital world you see how everything has aligned so wonderfully and of course i will pay you in kind how i will never allow your ilk to lay so much as a finger on true power you are an ulcer on the body of the imperium thank your exalted one that i have not yet incinerated <laughs> you in a righteous frame I mean, flame. They don't even give me my dogmatic stuff. How do I benefit from you gaining official status? Besides being in receipt of my eternal gratitude, won't it be beneficial to have someone in your retinue with the weight of authority behind them rather than just another pawn? One slip of paper and I will be able to extend my network to systems far beyond footfall. My agents will be your eyes and ears throughout the expanse. Mm -mm. That sounds simple enough. I would never allow your ilk to lay so much as a finger on true power. Man. Um. Bro, I don't think I need. I don't think this is the playthrough for her be gone wench i would never allow your ill to lay so much as a finger on true power i mean the only thing we would get out of it is like some spies
We're not we're not bad. Like if I wanted to be the bad dude. I would never allow your ilk to lay so much as a finger on true power. I'm going to say that. I don't care. Bam. I should have softened you up first with a glass of uh, something. Damascene. No matter. I will not trouble you with any more requests of this nature unless you have a change of heart, that is. Let's see. Perhaps your thoughts will move in the right direction with a little encouragement from me. You must have some factions of mine that you would like to establish relations with. The high-headed pirates, you merely need to use the right words like a key for a lock and people will open their hearts to you or their wallets. I will arrange everything you merely have to ask. All right. The Adeptus Mechanist? Let's do this. That's it. Not a problem. I'll have my people put in a good word for you. In the right circles. Yeah, you do that. And if you change your mind about my proposal, you can always find me nearby on the bridge. Just say the word and I'll come. Yeah, you got to work for this. Alright, we're going to go ahead and cut this episode short. Uh, we did a lot of reading and um, a little bit of dialogue. Well, a lot of dialogue with these uh, people on our ship. So once we get back... We'll go ahead and try to go to one of these planets and get um, some action started back up. I appreciate you guys coming out and checking out the video. Let me know what you guys think about my decision as far as should I allow her to get that um, power or not. Let me know something down in the comments. And with that being said, I will catch you guys on the next one.